What's up fam? Rafe DeRozzi here and it's been about three weeks since I moved into my new apartment and a lot of you guys have been asking when are we gonna see it? When are you gonna give us a tour? excited to show you what I've got so far. Obviously, there's a lot of work that has to be done. I don't ha even have a lick of furniture for my living room. I'm still just working on a lot of like different pieces and stuff like that. But that's gonna come slowly with time. Um, the rent has increased for me, for my last place, by a lot. So, um, my priorities as far as getting furniture for my living room isn't that great. As long as I have my living room where I can sleep, relax, and I've got my little office area that I'm creating here, my little blogging station, then uh, I'm good to go. So, but little by little, I'll work on the living room area and get that spruced up too. So here we go, guys, let's go. All right, so let's go to the front. We'll just, we'll just enter the apartment like any normal person on an apartment tour with me. All right, so when you walk in the door, this is what you see, it's my living room area. I got a nice little like gaslit fireplace, very cool. Uh, my surfboard's still out here, that'll eventually go into my room for sure. So I'm thinking I'll put some sort of light, maybe a plant here in the, in the corner, my couch right here, and then a little like TV set up over here. And then my favorite part of this new apartment is my little office slash vlogging station. I have a dedicated space for vlogging now. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I got this bookshelf right here that I am using to kind of like differentiate between the living room area and my office area here. And then I've got my desk, my computer, um, my lighting setup. I've got one of my Bovatec lights out. I've got another one in the um, case down there. You know, all my paperwork, I can file there, printer, everything I need. Usually I have this camera right here set up on that tripod so it's ready to go anytime um, that I want to do a little vlog in front of the, on the desk. All right, I gotta switch arms because this one is getting tired. So, okay, when I first started vlogging, I originally was using my iPhone. I don't even remember what generation iPhone it was. But then after my iPhone, I ended up getting a Nikon Coolpix camera. It doesn't have a detachable lens, it's just a fixed lens. And it was like, you know, it did the job. And then my first real like camera investment, um, after I looked it up online, was a Canon G7X Mark II. I bought it from someone used. It was in perfect condition, so I was super stoked with that purchase. And that was this guy right here. And this Canon G7X Mark II, awesome, awesome like starting vlog camera. Um, it's got really good resolution. It's got this really nifty flip out screen so you can see yourself while you're vlogging. This guy is so cool. I would still use it on occasion if I needed something really compact and lightweight that I could take with me wherever. It's a fixed lens, so you can't change the lens on any of it, but really, 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 really great starter vlog camera. That's what I used for a while. And then my next purchase after that was this Canon 80D, which I'm now uh, vlogging on all the time. And I love the Canon 80D. And then I've got my, my drone here. It's the Mavic Pro. This is what I use to get the sweeping video of the apartment in the pool. Very cool. And then I've just got some other accessories and stuff. I don't have it, I don't have everything out quite yet. I don't have it all like stocked up and ready to go, but that's, you get the general idea. And now we're moving into the kitchen. I love it. It's so like sleek and clean and modern and updated, nice appliances, gas, stove. Um, ah, it's so cool just to have my own place for the first time and then like it's only my stuff on the counter the way that I want it. <laughs> so I've got, you know, my my BCAAs, pre-workout, post-workout, greens formula. When I make my morning shake, I've got my uh, Nutribullet here. I just made breakfast and stuff, so 
dishes are drying. And so when I got here, I had I had zero I had zero things to fill this kitchen with, and I couldn't cook anything. I couldn't prep anything. I had nothing. So I went ahead and bought some like basic stuff. Like I have like a knife set here that I just got. My parents were nice enough to gift me some plates and mugs and, and glassware. I finally got some like cutting boards and scissors, you know, just really, really basic stuff. And I have my scale for my food. Just a couple things to cook with. That's it, nothing more. My parents were also nice enough to get me um, some pots and pans, which I desperately needed, so. And then the bulk of my pill form supplements are all in this drawer here. And then my spices and whatnot, you know, zero calorie spices that I'm allowed to eat during my competition prep. All right, so we saw the kitchen, a little office area, living room. You know what I love about this apartment is the floor to ceiling windows. It makes for such great lighting and that was one of the most important things for me when I was looking for a new apartment was that the lighting was good. And this, I mean I couldn't really ask for more. It's indirect, natural daylight lighting. So stoked on it. I've got one last lonely little box of stuff that I have to put away here and I'm just like dragging my feet to put it away because it's all this like random stuff and I don't know where to put it and I don't want things to be cluttered so it'll happen eventually. All right, so moving on from, so when you enter the front door, you got the living room, um, office, kitchen that way. In the other direction, we're going down the hall towards my bathroom. So come with me. <laughs> All right, so I've got this little separate um, sink area for my bathroom. And a big concern for me when I was looking at the bathroom and apartments was that there's enough uh, place to store things because a lot of places just didn't have any room in the bathroom for like toiletries and, and storing like cleaning supplies and stuff like that. So this bathroom was perfect. Bunch of stuff in there. All these nice little drawers and whatnot. And then onto the bathroom itself. Beautiful looking toilet. Got my scale because I weigh myself every morning and track that shower it works it all works it's great i love it <laughs> and then last but not least the bedroom arguably the most important place in the whole apartment welcome to my bedroom and duke duke say hi say hi baby he's a good boy oh he's a good boy thank you thank you <laughs> so when you enter my bedroom I've got my TV here, TV stand, really basic, simple for now. My bed, there's no comforter on it at the moment because I'm washing it. But uh, yeah, and since I don't have like a dining table, dining area at the moment, and I don't have anything in the living room to eat like on a coffee table or something, I've got this little uh, table right here that I used to eat on while I'm watching TV. And my mirror, you guys will probably recognize some of this stuff. My mirror and this painting is gonna go above the bed again, I just haven't put it up yet. And my closets. Nice mirrors going on in this bedroom, as you may notice. Lots of mirror action to be used for many different things. And my closet space. I love the closet in here. Plenty of space to put all my things. Super organized. Love it, just makes me happy. Just makes me happy when everything's like organized and clean and simple and not cluttered. It's my favorite. Other side. It's, I love this closet because I was able to fit my dresser in there, so I don't even have to see that giant behemoth sitting around in my bedroom. And there you go. All right, let's go back to the desk and we'll wrap this up. And we're back. Uh, so there's one thing I got a story time. Uh, when I was shooting those, yes, do I'll be right there. When I was shooting those, when I was shooting those those drone shots from my rooftop, legally you're allowed to fly your drones 400 feet up. Now, I'm assuming, and I'm sure I'm right, that the 400 feet is from like street level. So I was on the roof and I, I remembered that and I thought, well, 
this building is approximately 200 feet up. So I'm only gonna allow myself to go an extra 200 feet in the drone. And that's exactly what I did. And at one point I was checking out the view of what my drone was capturing on my phone, on my controller. And I realized that I was hearing a helicopter sound. And by that time it was so close that there was nothing I could do. And I look straight up, drones like directly above me. And I see the drone and not more than 50 to 100 feet above the drone goes this helicopter flying super low. It was a red helicopter, so I had to look it up. But I, I think that means it's like some, some type of search and rescue helicopter. And I just thought, whoa, like my drone got so close to that helicopter. It was, the helicopter literally flew right above it. And if someone wasn't thinking about how high they were flying their drones and they thought, well, I'm allowed to fly 400 feet. And if you start your drone on the rooftop and take off from the rooftop, then on the controller, it's gonna alert you they are only as high as the drone is from the rooftop. So as soon as I take off from the roof, my, dr my, uh, my controller says that the drone is five feet off the ground. So I've got another 400 feet to go. When in reality, if you hit that 400 foot mark, you're actually 600 feet up. And that's, you are 200 feet above the zone that you're allowed to fly in for obvious reasons, because there's other aircraft flying in the air. And that could be very, very hazardous. I'm in a very busy metropolitan area, tightly packed communities, and to have a drone hit a search and rescue helicopter and possibly cause it to crash would be beyond disastrous. And yeah, I don't, I just shudder to think about ugh, what could have happened, but I'm so glad I was smart and I took precautions <laughs> and I will never ever make that mistake. Guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed those drone shots. I think those are the first drone shots I've actually used in a vlog and I want to do so many more. I have lots of cool ideas and I was, and, and for those of you who are worried about privacy, I was very careful not to fly in front of people's balconies or windows so that no one felt like they, they were being intruded upon. Um, I'm very cognizant of that kind of stuff, but I wanted to show you that like what, it, what it's like up there. Cause I think it's freaking awesome to have a rooftop pool and jacuzzi as well. And um, yeah, that's my apartment so far. Obviously there's a lot uh, that needs to be done and needs to be filled up, but I'm so, 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 so happy to be living here. Some of you guys saw my previous video, I'm struggling in which I didn't know where I was gonna live yet and I just was being forced to move and I hadn't found an apartment and the idea of it was really scary and having to pay way more money was really scary and the whole process was just very intimidating. But at the end of the day, like, I wouldn't trade it for anything and I'm so glad to be here in my own space, to have my own vlogging, filming space. I just realized that I left the refrigerator on this whole time and it's making that buzzing sound. So if you can hear that in, in this video and it's annoying, I'm sorry, I'm a noob, I'm still learning, but I'll get it eventually. I got the AC off, but just not the refrigerator. Uh, <laughs> stick around guys, lots of great content coming. I'm excited for what this new chapter will bring. And um, Dookie says bye. Say bye, Dookie. Say bye, Bubba. Say bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.